mess mm-hmm. and, and doctors. Do you not have anything about professionalism in there? Like you have to be professional uh, while working? So EMS are separate to us, uh, to be clear. But uh, for our doctor SOPs, uh, yes, I believe it's mentioned twice and there's a whole section about it. There's a whole section about being professional? Uh, yes. Hold on, let me pull it up. Uh, we have a section called professionalism and consequences. Okay. Uh, can... Professionalism is also the second point under job responsibilities. Okay. Can you read that to me by any chance? Sure. Under job responsibilities, uh, the second bullet point is treat all patients fairly and their injuries effectively while remaining professional. Mm-hmm. That's it? That, that's the only thing? Then, no, no. Then professionalism and consequences says... While on duty and off duty, you will be representing the LSG and your fellow co-workers. You must hold yourself to a degree of professionalism and accountability while on and off duty. You'll be subject to consequences determined by attendings and or the board or directors if their request is not upheld. The LSG is a right to work institution and as an employee, the board of directors reserves the right to terminate your employment at any time for any reason. Some actions may result in immediate termination. And it goes into that. All right. Yo, so, who, who transgressed, Mike? Who transgressed? Uh, you do have a doctor that is currently going around aching somebody on because they don't see eye to eye, especially when they're in a work environment. They still seem to be doing this. They also do dress up and go around claiming that they have leukemia uh, as apparently as an act. Uh, I, I do believe he actually just found out he was sick um, while he was being treated. I'm assuming Rob Long spoke to you. I promise you that... Uh, the big picture of this is far more confusing. I've spoken mm. to every party yeah, and every side. It does, doesn't matter. Uh, and it has been ongoing for a long time. He's getting bullied, bro. I don't know. Why, why, yeah, why are you guys bullying him, bro? I I don't... I, I'll be honest, I haven't seen any of that. Monty's, uh, as far as I'm aware, has never once reached out to him. No, it's not just that. I've also been told that he refused medical, which I feel like is a bit of an issue, too. Uh, any doctor is authorized to not treat someone if they're uncomfortable with the situation in any way. They can't deny them treatment entirely. They have to, you know, make sure another doctor is available or doctor take can insist them. Um, but straight from the desk of Derek Shaw, uh, if you're in any reason uncomfortable, you do not have to treat a patient yourself. Mm. Okay. So you think it's fine that there's that in a work environment that he's aching somebody on and literally we're dealing with them. internally. Um, but I'm sure what hasn't been passed on is the first day that this happened. Um, I spoke to both of them there in mm. person while they were there together. Uh, made Montez apologize for it. Explained in front of Rod to Montez why he should not have done that. Uh, and the situation ended fine. The next right. time I was able to speak to Rod was after he had already come in and stabbed Montez and been trespassed. Which I had none of, nothing to do with any of that part. Uh, and what he did was come to the hospital for treatment. I asked, right. hey, do you need treatment? He said yes, so we didn't bother him at all. We got someone to treat him. Then he stands there flipping us off uh, and yelling at me for not listening to him. Even though I had and had forced Montez to apologize uh, and he came and stabbed him anyway. And what about the recent incident? Uh, with the uh, with the wrench. Mm. So I believe Rod was in the hospital um, upset again uh, about Montez's behavior. Uh, about the dressing up. I had heard about that. Um, that uh, I had talked to Montez about. He had a pretty different opinion about it, but I still talked to Rod. And we had what I thought was a good conversation. Right in the middle of that conversation, uh, Joanna runs up and says that she heard something about Rod. I forget exactly what she said. Uh, it was something, something rude. I don't remember. Um, she, did not, she didn't even say where she heard it from. I'm assuming the assumptions, Montez, but... I haven't even heard that still. Uh, so Rod just cuts off our conversation, goes, this motherfucker, and runs into the ER and bludgeons him with a wrench. Um, right in the middle of a bunch of doctors and patients. So I go in and hold him up with my gun until the cops <laughs> arrive. He was beating my doctor on the floor, so mm-hmm. I could have fucking shot his ass, but I did not. Yeah. Out of uh, an attempt to not escalate it, like he continues to do, uh, I decided to just hold him up instead. No, no, I'm not defending Rod's action here. I'm not saying that Rod is doing the right thing. But if you have a doctor in a professional environment that keeps egging somebody on, you know, somebody's about to snap at some point. 
I understand that. The issue is, um, as far as I'm aware, uh, and I have tried to uh, talk to Rod about this as well, there was no egging on to get to the stabbing. <laughs> that was very much uh, Montez apologized. Montez owned up to what he did. Rod was not happy that it happened at all still, and just stabbed him anyway. Um, there might This might have escalated past that point, because Montez is now pissed about being stabbed. Um, but as far as I have been able to tell, and both sides have been able to tell me, Rod over-escalated this by himself. What, what are these two individuals' names? Uh, Rod, Rod Long and, and a Dr. Montez Belair. Montez Belair. Rod mm-hmm. Long. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. Uh, you have their numbers. Uh, I, can uh, I have Montez. Rod's. Yeah, I can send you Rod's number. Are they around right now? Uh, I don't believe be. Montez is. Can I, we get Montez around? Yes. Almost certainly. Can we get Rod I'll around? Let me let me see if Rod is around. Yeah. Let's get him over here, because... Okay. It sounds like high school, so I'll be the principal. No, no, it, it, it is high school. We already it really is. Him uh, no, 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 no. We, no. we don't we need are... you to be the principal. We need this Montez guy to get in trouble for fucking antagonizing this dude. And then, well, oh, it he, sounds like, it sounds like if, if it's escalating to the point where people are holding each other up and punching each other and all that, why don't they just do mutual combat and be done with it? Hell yeah, I think that works for me. I, well, I'm not, I, I don't mean principles in like talk to them. I mean principles in tell them either you do mutual combat and get it out of your system like adults, or you know we just start pushing ego act on the two of you. Yeah, like, it ego, is dumb. Ego act that motherfucker, Rod. It's dog. dumb at this point. No, it, it is. It is. We, we, we told we told Rod to go through the proper channels with this as well. And mm-hmm. the reason I'm bringing up is because somebody said that you guys don't have SOPs in terms of professionalism. I don't know who you're talking to that's that misinformed, but we absolutely do, and we always have. In fact, okay. there's another place where it's mentioned. Um, if I remember correctly, because uh, that that was a key point that we wanted to bring up. Oh, there's a whole other section about um, about being targeted in the halls where we can send you off duty if you're causing unnecessary risk for other doctors as well. Um, so it's we cover all this. <laughs> No, it's it's fine. I'm just like if it if that is the case and there is SOPs mm-hmm. for it, then he should be held accountable for being unprofessional. What Rod did he is, is not being. correct, and and Rod is being chewed the fuck out for being a fucking idiot. Rod is not mm-hmm. in the right. But I will say, in Rod's case, he doesn't usually go to the extremes, especially not with civilians, and mm-hmm. I can vouch for that. Yeah, what so, was that guy's punishment? Montez. It's been hard to punish someone where every single time uh, we find out any proof uh, about something has happened, which has been a single time, he immediately got bludgeoned with a wrench. Uh, So he has not been on duty since then. Uh, The initial time, I made him apologize. I had him go to Rod uh, that first night uh, and own up to what he had done and apologize for it. Initially, uh, he he discussed it and he understood and we had all three of us had a discussion in the ER while uh while the party that this situation surrounded was being uh being consulted by Pixie. Hmm. Okay. I don't think Rod that, is around. I mean, that's then. all it was. It was a one situation thing at first. All right. Well, how about we just tell them to either do mutual combat or you know get over it. Yeah. Well, mutual good. mutual combat or Rod can actually just fucking. Uh, was again restraining order so they don't fucking talk to each other and just leave it at that. Yeah, something. I don't I think mean, people yeah. realize Montez isn't trying to talk to him. I found well, no proof of that. Rod, I even though. asked Rod, uh, no, has he th- ever contacted you? No, but that's uh, the thing he though. He does, it, he does it through other people. The person that ran up to him in your case was somebody that apparently was talking to the guy and then ran up to Rod. He's doing it through other people by and not egging him on directly. It's still unprofessional, but again, I'll have Rod do to go through the proper channel since they're not awake. And I mm-hmm. got confer- confirmed that you do have SOPs. So Yes, we do. I'm 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 past the point of professionalism. How about they're both, you know, older than their teens? So Yeah, uh, uh, see not, that's though. that's kind of thing. I don't think I have to handhold them as much as I've been trying to do. But how they both act, they're not past their teens though, Crane. Yo, the fire thing. them both, dog. Yeah. Well, Rod isn't hired. Uh however, we were going to remove his trespass uh until he did this again, so I genuinely thought things were on better terms. Uh, it is unfortunate that he uh, instead felt the need to pledge him mountains. 
Not my circus, not my monkeys, not yours either. They're adults. Figure it out. Yeah, Montez is cool because he gave me the Martin Luther King pass. Hell yeah. yeah. Does that mean you can say I have a dream? Uh, yeah. Nice. That's pretty good. There you go. That's a dub. Uh, All right. EMS question. Are they dropping like flies or what's the status on them currently? Because it, we keep getting mixed fucking signals about them. Yeah, every... So I've had random mm -hmm. people come up to me and they're like, Adoy, EMS be quitting. But like every EMS I talk to is like, nah, man. Yeah, that's that's the thing for me as well. Um, when you mentioned that last time, I went and talked to uh, not only their high command, a couple members of EMS that I've just seen in passing as well. I have not heard any of it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where it's coming from. I got an important question though. Are they yeah, are they, hire, yeah. are they hiring for EMS? Is there like an actual issue uh, for that right now? I um, I'm actually not a hundred percent sure. Let me see. I know Charlotte Spade was their um PNC lead. But she was mm. trying to get hired as a She's member of PD. A police cadet. Yes. Now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that might have slowed things down, I'll say. But uh, that wasn't like, you know, boo hoo, I quit EMS. She just wanted to move on. Uh, it does look like an EMS trainee was hired pretty recently. Well, uh, I raised EMS paid thir 1300 before tax. Holy so shit. Okay. It is a very lucrative thing. Uh, if you want, uh, I know you don't handle hiring. Yeah. For EMS. I'll talk to Abby. I'll talk to Abby. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I'll make sure they're aware as well when I see uh, him and Dion. But yeah, that's perfect. Word. Hopefully that helps them with it a bit because it, I think it has been an issue, but um, it's more so uh, medical is uh, an unrewarding field sometimes. Uh, so I think uh, as much as I love it, uh, some people just get a little burned out. So. Yeah. True, dog. Yeah, thank you. That makes a lot. Well, compassion yep. fatigue is a real thing for doctors, right? So oh, that makes yeah. Perfect sense. Mm -hmm. 100%. We have to be super morbid and fucked up with our uh, jokes and everything because the only way we get through it, we True. deal with too much. Hit level 84 attack in RuneScape last night. Oh, nice. good shit. Yes. Yep. So you're almost halfway there. Yep. Um, okay. Well, meeting started. Uh, let's can let's go down the freaking uh table. Okay. Uh first I'm I'm finna hit the boys with the classic. PD liaison Nakota, do you have anything to present? Uh speak up, Nakota. I can't hear my. I just can't yeah, hear you. Yeah, You're yeah, right, Nakoda. Oh, okay. We can't hear you, Nakoda. <laughs> oh, can you hear me now? Sorry. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, much better. Much Hello. better. There you are. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I have a couple things that I would like to bring up. Uh, sure. This is probably something. I don't know at what level this could be addressed. I did talk to the deputy mayor before the before this about mm -hmm. this. Apparently, people are uh, stealing a lot of helicopters now from the airport. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, we no. have no means to uh, go after them for obvious reasons. And uh, the only way we can get on ATC is if we drive down to the airport and uh, link into theirs and tell them to land, which knowing that we can't follow, they don't. Yo, quick, quick suggest to Reno. Why don't you guys go steal a helicopter and then chase them? Or why don't you just shoot them after you warn them to land? Uh, yeah, that seems fair. Have, can't you do we, that if you can't pursue? We have shot at it. Uh, secondary issue. Uh, our our guns are not as effective as you would imagine. So okay. uh, we are struggling to uh, oh. take down a helicopter, even if we are hitting tail rotors. Um, you got pea shooters like the Glock. It's also the day. what it, what it is is probably it's probably a range issue, right? Well, oh, but yeah, if they're out of range of a firearm, yeah. then doesn't that mean there's somebody else's problem? What? Well, well, my, the secondary thing I was going to raise to that is uh, we've also had a lot of instances where I put 12 rounds into somebody and then they hit me over the head with a wrench and knock me out. Oh, hey, my God. Head, bro. Whoa. Yeah, I, I've hit people in the head before. If I could blast that bitch. I, 
I do try to be blasting, and I still Word. get a wrench in the forehead. Yeah, this doesn't sound like council stuff. Uh, no, I, I, I will say, um, totally just commandeer a helicopter and park it at PD and wait for someone to do this shit. Commandeer one brand of PD? All right. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, you, yeah. Look, just make sure it doesn't get blown up so you don't have to pay the owner, you know? All right. Uh, secondary, and this thing. is not for your use other than combating helicopters. Yeah, 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 I yeah understood. Yeah. Understood. Uh, secondary thing is another thing that I spoke to Debbie Mayor about the maze bank on Bay City is starting to get robbed. <gasps> Shock. Oh, oh no. no, uh, that's where I get my paychecks. What the fuck? I Same. know they should pick a different bank. Do we have FDIC insurance? I fucking hope so. better, Jesus! I sure hope so. All guys. my money. Are we losing money? I sure hope we are. Oh God! Guys. I sure hope we oh, have. Oh no! It. Oh boy! That would be unmanageable forever. Oh God! It yeah. would be. Oh no! Um, but what I was saying to the deputy mayor is that uh, people are using dinghies to get away in the canals because the access uh, appears to be somewhere in the sewers, and. Uh, our boats are having a little trouble catching up, but I know I spoke to him about that. But I'm more just bringing it to your attention that that's starting to happen. Is the, uh, yeah. the bank up there is being robbed? You know, I'm a I'm a big fan of uh, shoot their boat. Yes, yeah, I, like well, I was thinking. Yeah, I like, I like it's shooting. another. You can't follow them. Hey, you yeah. got guns. The, I, look, I, I, I look. I'm not a cop. I'm going to tell you how to do your job. Um, but if you can't chase them, shoot them. Brr, brr, brr. I mean, that used to be a thing back in the day. Where yeah. If you couldn't pursue... Yeah, we, well, we used to shoot over a lot of different things back in the day, but that has changed to some extent. Yeah, so Nakoda, I, will, uh, I think uh, maybe things like this you should bring to your high command and then they can bring them to the state directly. I don't really know if the council's in a position to handle, you know, the technical specifications of your boats and guns and stuff. Understood. I just want yeah. to bring it up because the mayor was here, but noted going forward. Yeah. No, I support uh I support a bit of an escalation right now. We will treat them if, if needed after the fact. So yeah, go, that's what it. when I Good heard night. about the helicopter escape, it was uh yeah, definitely. Yo, I don't speak up. Oh. Sorry. I was like, yeah, when I, I heard about the helicopter escape, I was like, I figured it was gonna be brought up at some point. Oh, word. Yeah, there's yeah. a fucking helicopter that landed in Legion Square the other day. Yeah, that's Oh, insane. that's lovely. Not dangerous at all. All right. Uh, and then the last thing was a DOJ question that I brought up to Chief Justice. So those, I just wanted to make you aware of some of those things. I didn't know Holy fuck, like... Molten's here. I, oh, my I, God. I, I was what here last here? week, too. Oh, I just didn't even... F Holy fuck. You Are you good, Max? Uh, uh, sorry, go? I just it, like it just clicked with me, Dakota. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> uh, no, my last point was already brought up before, and uh, that was it. I just wanted to bring some of those things to your attention, but other than that, I've gotten everything else sorted in the uh, other avenues that be. So I am good. All right. Well, as for uh, my stuff, the uh, the only thing kind of on, on the radar is uh, there, there's been some lawyers who have been uh, grumbling about pay again. I believe that's just in relation to the income tax being adjusted recently, though. Uh, it hasn't been adjusted in like weeks. Mm -hmm. it, maybe it's, it's just finally like filtering through and they're just finally noticing it. What What is the uh, the income tax at currently? It's, is there it's like, like a eight. Or some shit. Oh, it's not even that I can go check real no, quick. No, it's not bad at all. No, nah, it's, it's it's not worth it. Just uh, it's just the standard like pay grumbling. I, I've basically kind of been uh, placating a, a a little bit, just saying like, hey, the, 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 the pay is the pay for now. You know, maybe that'll change next administration. I'm but... not opposed to upping their pay. I can <laughs> I, I, I can do that shit right now, dog. I'm gonna be honest because I know that uh, and my wife and I have have observed that the they uh, they're having trouble right now. Yeah, I'm, the lawyers I'm, are. I'm, yeah but see the thing the thing is right the thing that i've observed is ems pay has been 1300 for almost two weeks um it, sometimes, yeah, some, it hasn't some, changed some, much yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know same saying? with the doctor side uh, which again i appreciate a lot for that pay raise but unfortunately uh i mean the people who are there 
uh, it means a hell of a lot to them, which is mm-hmm. the same thing mm-hmm. I always thought, mm-hmm. but it certainly hasn't caused people to work more. My, you know, fuck, uh, it. I'll, fuck it. I'll raise their pay to 1000 an hour. Fuck it. I think I, they I, deserve it. I, I, I think that that is appreciated. The, the only thing I, I will say, and this is, uh, may, maybe this is an issue that might be present in other professions, but if I'm, if I'm being perfectly honest, a, a lot of the lawyer pay issue is for uh, self-inflicted wounds. Uh, people just aren't charging for their services. True. Yeah, and exactly. Uh, we can't. That, that's Lance, sure there's, that, Lance yeah. there's also an issue right now that I was told by the lawyers is that Oliver is undercutting everybody on contract saying that he will $50. Yeah, what's up with that? Oh, I heard that from Lightson. Yeah, people are yeah. undercutting hard. Yeah, so just Oliver is charging fifty bucks, so now everybody else who is charging more is just getting nothing. I mean, it's a classic race for the bottom. I, I don't uh-huh. think setting a, a mandatory minimum is, is appropriate. Um, we had that for expungements for a reason, right? Giving that money to lawyers because otherwise, right? right it was just a way to give them that money. Expungement that, is a is a state in the past, mandated. right? I, I I'm guess saying, contract. but in the past, right? We had the uh, ex- lawyers got twenty five hundred dollars for expungements. That fee was for them to ensure that they had that money, and it was a minimum fee to file, right? I'm just sure. saying that we had a standardized like minimum before. I, I don't think mandatory minimum is appropriate specifically for contracts because uh, the, it, that goes into the bucket of how we enforce it. Expungements they have to go through judges. They're very limited. They're very trusted. That it, that is like an official government facet uh, function. Whereas, uh, realistically speaking, if we mandate minimums for legal services, uh, you know, a- a- everyone knows a lawyer, you know, everyone's going to underreport. Um, it's like it, it, in a vacuum, like, sure, I- I'd like to set a mandatory minimum for contracts in, in this case, but uh, in practicality sense, like, h- how do you enforce that or-, or make sure that that thing's up to date? And I, I just don't think you can. If uh, people are racing to the bottom, if Oliver is charging fifty bucks for a contract, I mean, shit, man, Oliver's not around twenty four seven. True. What I've heard right. is that people are right saying right that now. they'll wait to 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 spend this, which I suppose is their prerogative. Um, yeah, that's also their their prerogative, right? I, 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 you know, I, I don't know. It's I, I understand I, what you're saying, but I think regulation by enforcement is still a mechanism. It is a mechanism. I I don't know if it, it's just specifically that. I mean, like Crane, you're 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 in the legal world a, a, a little bit. Like, what what are your thoughts on on mandatory minimums for legal services? Uh, depends on the service, I guess. And I don't know why I would need to regulate, you know, free market. That's a little where I'm at, right? Like if if the the pay is being bumped, that that might help a little. I don't know how. Uh, I, I agree. Uh, yeah, I I don't know how popular the the contract business is. Let's say, but uh, contracts is, is just one facet of being a lawyer. Uh, it doesn't change the issue of lawyers historically like to race for the bottom. And I, I, I do. don't I, I I don't know how to solve that on an institutional level. I'm going to be honest. So you say you don't know how to solve it, but I feel like the solution's right there. Right. And I know you guys are you saying that it doesn't work. Why doesn't the mandatory minimum work? Because people just won't follow it. Well, why don't we make it illegal for people to not follow it? Oh. Mm-hmm. Because then and we what, have what? to investigate and charge for it and, and all that other stuff. That oh, would screw no. over lawyers, I suppose. And we already don't have many. So I'll, I'll give the benefit the- of the doubt in there. The number of lawyers is is not an issue. It's a, okay. the, the lawyer pool is similar to PD in the sense that there there there's always going to be people who want to be lawyers. It, it just comes down to the quality you want and, and the function you want them to serve in the city. Um, mm-hmm. They said that adoption fraud was unenforceable. I even said so. However, the number of people who got arrested for that shit through the roof. That's a good point, and it was hilarious. So, yeah, I'm thinking, like, you could, like, cops could set up sting operations on these fucking lawyers to see if they're crooked. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of potential there. Like, like you know, people fucking, like, does confidentiality, confidentiality apply to uh, the person who is hiring a lawyer? It would, not, it would not apply during a sting operation, but if, if you are discussing something with a lawyer that is, like, privileged, by definition, privileged, which well, is... The can you can snitch on your lawyer, yes. That's but what yeah, I'm that. asking. That's what but I'm yeah, asking. that. Yeah, you know, people could just like. I feel like there's a lot of potential here. Potentially, potential. You know what I'm saying? Fucking. 
uh, we we can't just give up if it, if the prospect of more work is like wagging in our face. I, like like for example, we got we have something we're going to present now uh, or not now, but like at this meeting uh for the the motherfucking grime workers that are dropping their trailers off on the shoulder of Polito and other places so yes. that they can speak yeah, that's insane. God, thank you, know, you. you know, I could not yeah. believe so that. Well, see, see, like, it is think, so bad think about this reaction though okay and then consider for a moment how would the police ever catch someone doing this I think I have a they'd have to that. stake out yeah right so how would a person ever catch a lawyer under cuttings uh and not following the mandatory minimum yep seeing operation uh, it's just it's a matter of effort it's it's also i i at a, at a baseline i i also don't really think it, it's our place to regulate mandatory minimums for legal services now if that's a route that we're wanting to go for various industries let's say then i i, I could support that in general but i i don't think it's our job as the council to say uh Hey, uh, legal community, uh, quit undercutting each other. Uh, we're going to come in like your parents and, and set mandatory minimums. Is, is it is it a big enough issue to where we have to come in and legislate it? That that that's where I'm at. Right I, now. I will I, I will concede that I don't think it is big enough issue right now. Okay. Uh, and that's because I barely see Oliver around. I don't. Uh, I might it might be different for my wife because she's awake during the day a lot more often than I am. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll certainly, uh, let, let's say, kick around the, the prospect of, of mandatory minimums. I believe at one point I, I did in the past, but um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just not sure if it's like a, a legislative route. But I'll Has I'll anybody spoken dealers. to Oliver and said, hey, maybe yeah. don't yeah. do this? He, he, I fucking, did. he fucking lied about it. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going oh go to raise, go raise lawyer pay real quick. Hang on. Okay. Uh, Lance, I would talk to Grace and Roman about this when you get a chance. Is he the one who flagged it up? Um, they're two of the ones who did bring it to my attention. I'm trying to remember. There was several. Well, I, I know Litson did. mentioned something. Litson on his, did as well. Uh, yeah, that, that was on his exit interview. But Litson should like never see Oliver in, in my. Oh, uh, maybe maybe he does sometimes. No, they did. But... Yeah, it was like end of Litson shift. He would run into Oliver. I just want to say, I don't want to, I'm not saying that we should do mandated minimums for everything, for mm -hmm. all services, right? Because I would hate to tell someone they can't do pro bono if they want to. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, tr trust, I'm, I'm, I was, I'm very much aware of that. I'm not saying it should be on everything, but maybe some things, right? And if you can't afford it, maybe you shouldn't be participating in that for certain things, right? I, I don't think it's that people can't afford it. I, uh, I I just think it's people who either want want a good deal or who are getting paid. Uh, let, let's say in other ways, right? Like maybe maybe you're you're not charging for the contract, but you're uh, you know you're getting a back end deal where you're like that that business is lawyer. They're going to keep coming to you for legal services related to that business, right? And that just kind of seems retainery, doesn't it? Right, which is you know once again like another not issue, but. Uh, you know, if, if I'm if I'm not paying for this contract, but I'm paying you five uh, k a month as like a general retainer, like, is that something that that's covered under this mandatory minimum legislation? Like, I'll, I'll I'll kick around feelers. I'll I'll see what people are are, are thinking in general. I just uh, I, I'm just gonna I, say I, when I they know. sign off on a contract, they're essentially notarizing the contract, right? Having a standardized minimum notarization fee is not too crazy. But um, other than like general pay issues, yeah, there's uh, there, there's nothing else really. Uh, Civilian Oversight Board has received a, a couple complaints. We're still kind of working through like the uh, the kinks of like the uh, the pipeline to uh, to be actioning those and, and such. But uh, we'll have some test cases basically to look at uh, next week. Yo, Malton. Yeah, what's up? How do you feel about Archie Archer willing to completely abandon his role uh, to run for mayor? <laughs> Damn. Uh, Archie Archer never wanted to be on the Spilling Oversight Board. Did he not? Yeah. No, he not wanted really. power, no. bro. He, he just, just wanted power. power. Yeah. He just wants power. He's oh, okay. gone. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He, he admitted to me yeah, that this was, he, he saw it as a, a political stepping stone. Um, 
I, I mean, I it is a, a little disheartening, but I I'm not uh, I I'm not really j judging motives, shall shall we say? Right? Here, like here, uh, suggestion. I mean, it's your it's your baby, so yeah. uh, replace him with the fourth place. Uh, I, I was just about to say that. Yeah. Place? I mean, if he's uh, already yeah. looking uh, past it, then why don't we give it to somebody who actually wanted to be on it? Yep. I agree. 100%. Honestly, fair. Well, that's our suggestion. Obviously, you know. As, as the, I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait till he actually declares candidacy for he the did. mayor. He, he told already, me yeah, today. Yeah, 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 he's he already com he's already campaigning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know there's a couple elections. When, when does? But I guess my thing is like for like a officiality let's say when does the uh when does the declaring season actually start is that set in stone or anything the signups are going I, I believe they went up on the ninth last time so they will go up on the ninth this time okay mm. yeah no he's he's advertising himself in the yellow pages as running for mayor mode yeah yeah and he's actively yeah. going and he, speaking to 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 groups and yep yeah he reached out to me today get rid of this clown yeah because he's running for mayor yeah, I think he's that's no fair. longer paying attention to what he should be. So give yeah. it to somebody who will. Um. What? Uh, did did you have anything, Molten? Not not for like legislation, just general updates on like the uh, the pay and the civilian oversight board. Okay. Uh, Cantor, you got anything? Uh nothing to propose today. Um, still working on studies for the scheduling of weed. Um, but I think uh, from my discussions with people, I think uh, a lot of that would be based around the things that PD's aware of. So Did you say weed? <laughs> my weed. accent's a little too strong. Weed. Weed. Sorry. Weed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> All good. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, that's the only thing to schedule so far. So just working on that still. Alan, do you have anything to present? Yeah. Okay, uh, I see we got uh, Pay Me, uh, we got Park, -ing. Parking, R and Assholes. And Assholes. Big fan of Assholes. Yep. Big fan of Assholes. Yep. Big, Big fan name. of Assholes. Good, good, good name. <laughs> Damn straight. Didn't think uh, those words would come out of my mouth today, but you know, here we are. Do we, uh, where do you want to start? Alan. Oh yeah, so pay me. I noticed uh I'm not getting paid in accordance to my role on city council. I'm getting paid as a judge. Oh. So, not fair. Okay. Well, I mean, what are, what do your expenditures look like these days? What do you mean? I mean, I'm just like, you know, like are you are you are you not getting paid like a livable wage or No, it's about equity. Oh. Okay, well, I'm owed fifty thousand dollars from the state then so is my wife how is that uh for the uh, for our audit and uh interviewing for the uh pcp and selecting the um chief of police all right so those duties were part of what uh part of the pcp which was a power granted to what office the mayor's office Right, so if you are the mayor, then ostensibly wouldn't a power granted to you be responsibility? Um, yeah, I suppose, but at the same time, if you apply that logic to the people that were hired to do the audit, wouldn't you say also that that's their responsibility once they are hired to do so? Yeah, but hired means you'd get paid compensation. I Was I not, am I not getting paid for being the mayor? You are, that's what I'm saying. All right. Well, it is uh, already I, part of your job description to do that because it is a power granted to your office. What I'm saying is, is basically the state and the council as part of that action added responsibility, which you already paid for as part of your job description. What I'm saying is that I hold two roles, much like Cantor, much like Nakota, let's say much like Malton. What are your two roles? I am both a judge and a city council member. Okay. So I am getting paid only as a judge, whereas the other people at the table are getting paid as city council members. It's your responsibility to do those things. That's a responsibility you took on yourself as well. Right. 
So why do you think you should be paid more? No, I'm saying I should be paid the same. Same as who? The other city council members. How much are they getting paid, Alan? I don't know. You control that. How much are you oh, getting paid know. per hour, Alan? Uh, I, I got to know. I don't know. You control that. Wait, well, Mark, I, well, hold, hold on. Hold Mark on. signed in hey, when hey, he got his money. Well, he did the audit, too. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Uh, when's the last time you picked up your paycheck for Bay City? Uh, today. Uh, and how much did you get paid? Uh, like 14 k or something. Okay. Um. So after this meeting, uh, or what, like, I assume you'll remember the time that you got your paycheck, right? Sure. Um, after this meeting, what you can do is you can go down to Bay City, um, and you can figure out how much exactly you're making, and then maybe suggest a, an actual number to have your pay raised to. Cause right now I, I don't, I, I do you even, you don't know how much you're getting paid per hour. I'm getting paid what judges get paid. Okay, but my point is, is if you were, if you were doing, look, I, for, I value a judge's work extensively because my wife has Im imprinted into me how difficult and in, in how much work goes into doing that. That said, um, how much work have you done in the realm of actual judge work you've done some bench trials and stuff like that right what do you mean oh i'm just wondering how like how many hours do you have signed in i don't know what does that have to do with just, this? well just take a guess just like a random guess what does that have to do with this i am wondering how i can justify a pay raise for you if you are not putting in the hours and the time i don't i'm asking for an equitable hourly rate you're misunderstanding, okay. I think. I'm not misunderstanding at all, Alan. I, I just uh, I think you are because your questions are irrelevant to the point I'm making. This isn't a courtroom, Alan. I'm trying to figure out oh, how it is right, but we have sure. to get to the same page, right? So we have to understand what we're communicating about. And if we're talking past each other, which it seems like we are, then that's a problem. Sign in as a council member, though. I cannot. That's what I'm trying to say. You, to you set Max. up all of us to no, be I able to do not. that. You you assigned us the ability I, to do I, that. Max, Max, I did not. Who did? Hey, so here is the thing. I can hire myself as a council member. Yeah. I suppose. And then I could yeah. sign as that alternatively for the meetings and such. Yep. I'm doing it through the proper channels because that would be an executive action that would be wrong. I'm simply asking for the council to allow me to do what is equitable. That's it. Uh, I am yeah. not in an authoritative executive body when it comes to pay because you control things like that. So I am coming to you, acknowledging the fact that I cannot, even though I have the technical ability, I can and should not do it on my own, so I'm doing it through proper channels. That's what I'm saying. You're misunderstanding. Okay, it, my counterpoint was simply: you don't know how much getting paid you're paid. You're getting paid per hour. You can't tell me that. I know uh, that you, I'm you getting can't, paid. You can't. You can't tell me how many hours you've worked in the last week. I know. So why? I'm, why is pay an issue to you right now? Because for know. the time I am getting paid, when I'm doing the same work as other city council members, I am getting a lesser rate. Okay. Uh, that is all I am pointing out, and I'm asking for the ability as a group for me to make that potentially equitable. That's it. Okay. Uh, I'm mainly just playing devil's advocate. I really don't give a shit if you get paid more money. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't, I don't either. I'm just, I'm just explaining that, like, the, 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 uh, the points you're raising don't have anything to do with what I'm saying. It's just. Well, no, they, they have. I mean, my point is that if you cannot quantify to me how much money you're making per hour or how many hours you've worked per week how is it that your pay could be such a pressing issue to you that you would present it to the council right now because it's a matter of rate and also as i said to candor before this no one brought anything to me this week to bring up so i found things to bring up on my own behalf love it <laughs> i actually do love that which i did uh, not do for the first i don't know how long so like five weeks um yeah yeah i, I i'm i'm in favor of you getting a raise i gotta be honest I, I, I just yeah, want the what? ability. Can I create the ability for me to sign in as a chief justice instead of a judge? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Why not? Fuck okay, yeah. cool. Thank you. Um, 
what would be a reasonable rate for that? Probably like uh, whatever the council gets paid. So I don't actually know the base number that the council is being paid. I can only adjust a percentage of that. Uh, so, so it's whatever we last. So whatever we last voted on it for it to be. Uh, excuse me. I think it was eight fifty. No, uh, but it's gone up after, since then because of after whatever. the last after the last one where we gave ourselves raises. Oh, I forgot about the two hundred. Yeah, thousand a thousand dollars. Max, I oh, sent you. Say when no. I wasn't here. Hell yeah! All right. Yeah. What, Mike? No, I sent I sent you an email with all the numbers. Ooh. You can get the actual base on everything. Uh, city council is 800 before tax. Okay. Oh, then it didn't never, so got, never got changed. changed. Yeah. Uh, okay. ju judge is 900 before tax. Oh. So actually, you've been making well, more money than the city council. Not if it's like whatever triple XP weekend or whatever has been going around. Oh, that was just for the PD. Oh, I thought city council made a bunch of money this recently. Oh, wait. Yeah, hold on. Um, wait, what? Let me let me do some math. Hang on. Nah, Alan's right. Council has been making more than him. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> wait. What? This says doctors are getting. Wait, doc. Oh, DOC. Sorry. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> cool yeah i think they're getting paid the least because it's just inherently <laughs> yeah uh yeah i mean they don't deserve money <laughs> yeah they're <laughs> chaos <laughs> um yeah. yeah raise it um it i mean it's i don't really know the particulars about adding another role like that so but i mean i'm for it i don't give a yeah I really, okay. I really don't. i can get it figured out i just wanted your guys permission as a group so i'm not doing things on my own that's all okay all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. All right. So pay me is approved. I will get equitable compensation in terms of role. Um, let's see. Parking got resolved. Uh, that was, again, part of the same issue because I signed in as a judge and judges got removed from the city council shared parking. I couldn't take out the car anymore. Uh, but Michael's working on that. And then, uh, oh, asshole. Uh, yeah, I was walking to the bank today because i like to walk because it's good for my knees because i'm old and they're bad and uh i was walking down uh to get some bird to throw or some well, bird some fucking uh you know breadcrumbs to throw the birds down there and mm -hmm. well you know back in the day i you know used to read a lot and I'd sit at the cafe and you know was Sometimes, you know, it was, was kind of like slow reading, you know, like Tale of Two Cities and such. And well, I, I guess I just <laughs> got immersed at some point in, you know, the sort of existential evaluation of, you know, my place and everything. And, you know, I'm out here throwing these breadcrumbs, these birds, and they're finding more happiness than I think I'll ever find in any kind of Alan facet. Who's going on? you, darling? What's wrong? You know, what? What? I was enjoying his story. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I was going to the bank, right? I was walking to the bank. Uh, my knee was hurting. And I... Oh, I remember, I said I reminded him I called him on PCP. Um, anyway, uh, I was walking to the bank. And my knee was hurting. Uh, and, and I... Okay. So I, I get there. And I get my money. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to walk back. And I walk back. And a tow truck was on the sidewalk going like 100 miles an hour. Almost ran me over. Had like a bright green cab with purple headlights. Uh, and I was thinking to myself, I thought $1,000 and four points on your license was like a lot of threat. It is. But if they don't care and they're just driving 100 miles an hour on the sidewalk and swerving oncoming lanes, and uh, do they not care? Is that not enough fear? You know, like, do we need more fear? Like, what do I do? Because... That guy did not give a fuck. He didn't even stop. He didn't even say, like, holy shit, are you okay? I'm so sorry. He just fucking kept going. He yelled sorry while speeding by. I barely oh heard him. Yeah, yeah I got bulldozed by a tow truck. You. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I I just... It's pretty bad. I feel like something... Uh, maybe we need to, like... Can you do your quota thing with PD, but just for that? I don't know. Ooh. It just... It seems like... <laughs> Ooh. 
for like the the commercial they vehicles. need to control commercial vehicles i i am goddamn yeah. sick of walking around yeah. because look I, I may be one of the few people and that's fine uh, but i enjoy walking around and i enjoy you know bicycling around and taking things slower and it is fucking crazy that if for me to walk from the apartments to my workplace i almost get run over like three times mm -hmm. by a grime truck or a group six truck or a tow truck or you know a sanitation truck yep we or have to control these 18 people. wheelers jesus i mean well, yeah isn't that under uh reckless driving and the uh but that's but that's my that my point is there needs to be something more if than the that. laws are harsh already are the laws not being enforced are people not focusing on that i guess that, you know maybe yeah. nakoda has yeah, some nakoda, ideas has some there insight. I mean, we write a lot of speeding tickets. Uh, commercial vehicles. Uh, I would have to look into whether or not the vehicles being pulled over are commercial. I will say... Uh, people Honestly. Might be... Sorry, go ahead, Malcolm. No, no, no. I was going to say people might be more inclined to go, you know, are trying to get the car that's going 130 as opposed to the grime van that's going 90 in the city. They don't even have to be going 90, though. If they're just, like, on a sidewalk or cutting corners on their turns, that would be enough, in theory. Yeah. Uh, I mean, personally, I haven't seen a lot of uh, vehicles that are used commercially do things like that, but it's obviously, you know, if, uh, if the Chief Justice is seeing it, I mean... I don't know. I don't know. If people are being pulled over, I'd be interested to see how many times people are actually be have been charged with... Uh, with the commercial vehicle charge. So I can look into that, but uh, maybe that's the issue. I mean, I can tell you right now. You can too. You guys don't know that. Let's go incidents, hit advanced search and search by the charge. I mean, given the fact that they're driving these giant trucks, you know, that are far more dangerous than the average vehicle. And I just feel like they should be right, held so to. It's, it, the charge is not being used enough, clearly, because. Since March 12th, there have been seven instances of this. That's it? Yeah. Hell, I see seven instances walking down the street, you know, in five minutes. Yeah, the charge is just not being used enough. Because it, it, very clearly, these people are doing this. I don't know if it's just there's other priorities or what, but, you know, it, it is something that I think... It deserves to be addressed because it it is fundamentally a ridiculous thing for these gigantic you know mm -hmm. multi-ton death fucking machines to to just go everywhere at 100 miles an hour it's crazy i got bulldozed by a tow truck coming down the highway in my weevil today on the way here so and the motherfucker didn't even pause just literally yeeting myself and two local cars into the guardrails and just kept yeah. going. I have to avoid about four different tow trucks per drive down from Polito to here. Yeah. yeah. Now that you mention it's actually, we were, we were chasing a car. Swerving into oncoming lanes. Pulled right in front of us. Running every red light, going 80, 90 miles an hour. It, it's got to it's gotta get fixed. When I was still driving my motorcycle, I'd probably have been bulldozed by a fucking truck at least like... I would say it's like two times a day. Two times a day. They're, uh, they're insane. Siobhan, you got bulldozed like two days ago by a I know. Tow truck. I know. Yeah. So clearly, Nagoda, uh, I don't, I don't know because four points to me seems very harsh. Because if you get four points uh, just for the enhancement charge, and the primary charge is let's just say it's first degree speeding, the officer chooses not to give like the reckless driving felony. Right. Let's say it's first degree speeding. That's seven points. Yeah. So you get caught doing that three times, you lose your license. But that charge and those points mean nothing if it's not being used because for this to, you know, have been around for that long and it's been used seven times since March 12th. I mean, that's a month, seven times in a month is really bad. It's once every three days. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, this is the kind of charge that until the behavior is corrected, you should probably see, you know, couple of these a shift right at least you know three a shift or something okay i will like, I, I would imagine if you if it was something that was being even remotely considered and prioritized that seems you know kind of reasonable mm -hmm. understood 
I will uh, communicate that and let everybody know. Yeah. Okay. I'll go by shift three and I'll make a comment tonight. Um, maybe I'll wake up and go to shift one, but yeah, I just want to bring that up because I think that that's an issue that uh, everyone can, in the city deals with. Yeah, I can make announcements too now for PD, so I can also send it out right. as soon as this is over. Nice. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, and then, obviously, the ongoing situation with trying to rebalance the entire penal code is still a project. I've solicited preliminary feedback from some judges. Uh, I've opened the door to others if they want to contribute by doing their own efforts. Uh, but I'm trying to, you know, do it right the first time, so it's taken a while. If you guys in particular have any charges or any, you know, things that you feel are not things you want to bring to the council because there may be more niche or it's an adjustment rather than a full change, uh, I would welcome any kind of uh, documented commentary on that. I can By do documented, that. I mean definitely send me an email or a text or something uh, so I have a record of it that I can reference later. I will get on that. I already have some that people have brought up. Perfect. This is some phone call. Mm. Nakoda, do you have any idea how if you guys have ever pulled anyone over for the VDM Act at all? That is another thing I can look at. I will say it's been... Uh, I don't know if people have said this, but there was a period there where Nobody could get their car repaired. I don't know how that is now. I haven't yeah, had to go get a repair. Uh, but I am not sure, and I will find out. Okay. I'll bring it up next week. In that case, as it is right now, I guess it doesn't make sense. Yo, I am Is that all you had, Crane? No. Yeah, all my stuff. Um, Alex... I didn't get a chance to meet with you prior. Anything I need to bring up on behalf of the clerks? Uh, no, I don't think so. All internal. Okay, good. And yeah, it's all uh, DOJ side. Also, we do have that panel. I believe was it Cantor the volunteer yeah, to hear that yeah. with the uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. if they didn't post availability by today, I'm just going to schedule it for okay. based on uh, yeah, what I know we're going to be available for. Yeah. I should be fully um, available so just make it happen. Cool. Was it looking looking at scheduling it for Tuesday? Uh okay. this upcoming Tuesday? Is that Sounds for everybody? Today? Yeah. In the as long as after seven Eastern. Yeah, I got you. I know your schedule. All right, perfect. <laughs> yes, Edda, do you have anything? Um, I don't have anything to propose, but um I've been mainly busy uh dealing with uh event things um andy nice. conducted her week-long uh the games event which just ended on friday uh it had a wonderful turnout and uh yeah so i did that um i've also reached out to a couple of other people i spoke to michael about possibly installing a microphone at bahama mamas um I spoke to Kermie Fulker about a, um, a sanitation drive of sorts because apparently there's an issue with trash building up down in the sewers and which we have a bit of an issue considering that it's felony trespassing to go down into the sewers. Uh, you know, we, we could make an exception for sanitation workers, but then what's to stop people from just going in, signing in, and then going down into the sewers? Nothing. So, um, I don't know exactly how to go about, uh, circumventing that. Sewer passes. No. I'm gonna work. Well, yeah, uh, it's, uh... I mean, is, is the trash causing, like, blockage? Is, is there really an issue with just letting the trash pile up in the sewer? I mean, I would think after a while that it would just start to give people constant headaches. You know, the smell mm -hmm. and, you know, 
because from what I was told, uh, Kermie said uh, that the couple of times that he had been down there before, you know, it was deemed a, a felony. Uh, <laughs> he said that there were literally, there's like a, apparently a pit down there, um, but it's like literally full of trash. Yeah, I've seen that pit before. Cool. Yeah, so I've been trying to think of a way, uh, you know, to possibly come up with something that is monitored by, you know, either, you know, ourselves or, you know, trusted government employees to kind of monitor specific entrances for the sanitation crews to go down for a, you know, a, a limited period of time to try and, you know, and then we give them like a bonus for their time uh, on top of what they earn, you know, just from the materials. Operation but, sewer cleanup. Yeah. I, I, I'm still trying to iron out the details of it. Uh, you know, you been, know basically uh, anyone in the city can pick up these bags now. Yes. So yeah. It, it, yeah it, it, that's it could, it could be a wonderful. citywide initiative to get everyone down there and be like, Hey, grab a bag and then drop it on the surface. So do we just deem it for like one specific, you know, time period? Like, Hey, right now is the only time that you can go down there without getting hit with felony trespassing. Is it, is it illegal right now? Did we, we, actually, we did deem it. Yes. yes. Technically yet. Has it been posted? Uh, uh, I don't really know. I know everyone's aware um, of it. They've it? been yelling about it a lot, but I don't remember yeah. where it would be. Yeah, word spread real quick on that one. <laughs> yeah, we put sign ups, signs up on the entrances so people knew not to go down. Ooh. Yeah. We kind of looped it in with an existing charge, so nothing was yeah. really posted. We feel like yeah. trespassing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it was deemed a you know, public utility, so being in there is trespassing, even though we... apparently people live down there. Yeah. I'm yeah, go I had a... I had some EMS talking about how one of them lives down there, and I just had to tell them there's no way I can endorse that. I, I did testing down there. So there's radioactivity down there. It's not safe. Uh, so um, I told them I couldn't really help them. Sorry. You got an EMS that lives in the fucking sewers? Apparently. Um, huh. But I'm, I'm not going to fight to do that. Maybe they should learn to live elsewhere. Yeah, what there is a strange attachment to living in the sewers. Though. There really is. Some people are yeah. very attached. It was almost mm -hmm. like the adoption stuff where they like they really there were, there were care. People, there the whole people, culture around it. I there there was a culture. There's no culture anymore. That like there was there was a bunch of weird fucking degenerate like social reject sewer people that had been down there for years. Uh, yeah, who, I actually met a few of them. Yeah, like though that that's the culture. Their culture's dead. After there was a their, guy who couldn't even be a crowbar. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. There was a guy who couldn't even breathe the air up here because he was so used to the toxins down there. So that feels like a great example of why it is not safe. I know. Uh, right? As the healthcare liaison who, who did test and all that down there, uh, no one should be going down there unless they are uh, in a bunch of uh, like protective gear uh, mm -hmm. under very limited conditions. For those of us with common sense, but you know, but yeah. So, like I said, uh, I did speak to Kermie. Um, I am trying to sort out something uh, to try and alleviate the trash issue in the sewers. But you know, that's yeah, that's going to be interesting. He messaged me too. Hold on, let me read what he said. Yeah, he told me. He told me about the conversation that he had with you in the text messages. So, um. Two days ago. Well, first of all, he showed me the heat map of trash. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, I need to work a deal with the city slash state. Showed me the heat map. He said, I need to clean these. My OCD. I said, I wonder <laughs> if some of those are coming from the sewers. I said, talk to Edda. Maybe arrange a trash gathering event. She will probably compensate you. Uh, he said, I am convinced that 90% of trash is either in the sewers or houses. And then he said in all caps, I tried talking to Edda. Issue is people's houses. It's not an issue anymore, fortunately. Uh, I need you to like, let me sieve raid. I'll roll a d20. Then he showed yeah. me the d20 huh? he rolled. And he I told rolling. him there was no way in hell that we were doing that. But yeah, now now Where it's not roll? an issue. A six out of twenty, which I don't, I really don't know. But then he said, 
never mind, this convo never happened. I said, Lamau, uh, in parentheses, I didn't actually laugh out loud. Uh, mm -hmm. I said, people would be super paranoid about letting you in their house to pick up trash, but it is a problem. I wish those bags would go away in people's houses, uh, which come true. Uh, I'm, he said, I'm more concerned about nice. the headache, CBH. Well, valid concern that. Um, and I, I think, why don't we arrange a time next week where we get everyone together? Uh, we drop the the trespassing felony trespassing. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we just get everyone in the city go down there and just grab a trash bag and then bring it up to a bunch of uh, things up on the surface. It's going to be chaos though. It uh, is. That's that's the other thing. It's like trying to manage it in a way that won't basically be like, "Hey, here's a whole bunch of money. Criminals come and rob everybody." Yeah, because um, we can't have nice things in the city. Mm. Like we can get some cops down there too. I don't know. Uh, uh, what well, we need them to patrol, right? Well, what am I patrol? What? what? I said we need them to patrol, right? Uh, yeah, true. I mean, one or two cops though. Uh, for that, um, you know, uh, you know, maybe the ones that like to sit on the side of the road and do traffic citations can spare some of their time to sit on the side of the sewer and make sure no one's killing each other. Yeah, could do. That's what I had a brief little, you know, I was spitballing ideas and, you know, just trying to like designate, you know, certain government employees who would want to volunteer to like watch the entrances because I want to make sure that, you know, people aren't trying to like, you know, get over on the system as people love to do and have people who actively participate in actually cleaning the trash, you know, be rewarded for their time on top of what they're earning, you know. Uh, and not be robbed. So, we'll, uh, we'll, I'll organize something for next week. Uh, I'll request that the chief of police give me like one or two cops to station at the top of these manholes. Okay. To, uh, you know, receive people that maybe are wounded or, uh, to solve disputes. Oh, uh, yeah. They, they could give us security. Yeah. Yep. Uh, keep them from going down there because I don't want them to catch the, fucking malaria or whatever the fuck's going on down there yeah true. yeah uh, hey, it's bad and then we just have people fan out go down there and get bags uh i'll set it for maybe next thursday we can do this okay uh and i'll make so i'll make a couple of state announcements and whatever else. maybe I'll, I'll get kermy to promote it too um yeah i'll set a time and date after this meeting you know okay. a crazy idea uh if the sewers are dangerous and you don't want to expose people to it, but we have this problem with the trash, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, why don't we allow Bobby and Carmine <laughs> to put ankle bracelets on people and then they Ooh. escort them down the sewers and make the inmates pick up trash? Good idea. Wow. Uh, the, the, the problem is that um, they might not be detained for long enough to like you know eventually they could be like hey i want to go home and then they're like yeah okay. and you know and that's fair right i'm just saying the option right because there may be some people who would like to go pick up trash bobby and carmine i can't imagine why yeah but you know i mean i'm down on that i think that's a great idea or maybe they could use it to haze their new tryouts and hires right maybe they yeah. if there's no inmates they make the lower doc guards go pick up trash then Bobby oh, and Carmack nice can good. live out their authoritative fantasies over their employees. Speaking of which, they sort of did that yesterday. Uh, oh God! I do have something tied into Hi, that. Hi, Booby. Crane. Okay. Or yeah. channel. Uh, Hi, Kyle. We were talking to them because they want to really use their bus up there uh, to transport, I guess, or pick up inmates from PD. But seeing as that's outside their zone, and I talked to Beric about this. They said that PD Bobby, would have to transfer hey, to what, what follow them all the way up to the prison. Is this something we would hey, want them to do to pick up inmates and just take them back to the Bowling Brook? Or do we not hey, care on, about we that? Gotta, hold on, we gotta fucking slap hands in you. All right? Look, buddy. All right? Boom. Hey, you got this. I don't have any. Like the air. Hey, oh, you got this, Bobby. You got this, Bobby. You got this. Whew. 
Okay. Hey, Bobby, we were just talking about something that you could do with uh, your DOC recruits. Speak up, Bobby. Speak up. Uh, we actually held the DOC's uh, first uh, boat camp. It was a 99% attrition rate. A lot of a lot of people died that day. A lot of trainees died that day. But uh, there were some that made the cut. Approximately six made the cut. Is one of them called Dizzy? You don't even know, motherfucker? And I, nobody but that name. Oh, interesting. Because he, he thought he passed. Is he? Well, if I don't remember him, he probably didn't pass. He probably wasn't cool then. Yeah, fair. Uh, before you go over that, um, we were thinking about having you slap ankle bracelets on prisoners and then clean up the sewers with them. Mr. Mayor, I think that we should not only slap an ankle bracelet on them, but we should chain them all up, kind of like one of those uh, lines, like when they're like chain, a chain gang. Them, yeah, a chain, a chain gang. gang. We should make them a, I don't know, like a work on the casino or something. We should make them a mine, uh, mine like, like diamonds or something. I, I don't know what is the what is the city the city need diamonds or something? Like, Always like need a diamonds. Gold mine. They yearn for the mines. Um, well, let, let this be a launching point for that, then. Sewer cleanup. Um, have you had, uh, are you having any trouble with those buses, by chance? Buses are, don't operate. Okay, so they're just, like, un inoperable right now? Can't, Speak uh, up. You can lockpick it. Uh, we can, uh, lockpick the bus, but I, I, something's wrong with the transmission or something. It just doesn't go forward. Okay. Um, it'll, it'll back up but not forward <laughs> uh, oh wow uh, are you are you willing to uh, start bringing people down into the sewers and having them pick up some trash Mr. Mayor I'd be willing for uh, anything uh, the amazing council would uh, what any task the council would give me okay yeah, just an option Bobby you know we're just thinking you know we, we have a problem with trash in the sewers and you have both, you know, low rung employees and inmates who you control, and you know, I might give you something to, you know, have them do. Uh, any way you could get the police to not stick their nose in what I do in the sewers, then, because uh, I guarantee you, the day this happens, uh, the cops will be storming me. You'll, uh, you'll be, you'll be given an exception on the felony trespassing stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If 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 this occurs, this will be something where, you know, we will go announce it at PD meetings. It will be communicated to high command through Nakoda and you know other city council members. Uh, we need you know as long as there's clear communication ahead of time, everything will be fine. What about uh, unruly? What about unruly inmates that uh, that need to be uh, punished in the sewers for not uh, working hard enough? Am I gonna get a charge for beating them or shooting them? Mm, no, because they they're escaping at that point, right? Are they? Well, Bobby, you wouldn't be uh, carrying a gun, you know, outside the prison, would you? Oh, no, 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 no. Carmine holds my gun for me. Right. <laughs> it's, it's a communal gun. Yeah, because you don't have a license to possess a gun, right? Right. Mm. It's a communal gun. Carmine's going to be holding the firearm. Well, if it's registered to you and Carmine's holding it, that's still illegal. Yeah, that's yeah. fine in the prison, Bobby. Not fine outside the prison. Well, Carmine's going to hold his gun, his firearm. I'll just Good. Hold a, a okay, knife. great. Uh, I think that if they're not following your orders to clean up trash down there, then they should be uh, brought into line if they're prisoners. I don't think that... Uh, I think they should listen to you when they're down there. What about Otherwise, the event? Oh, go on. Uh, what about in the event that it, uh, an inmate um, escapes the confines of the sewers? Do I have free reign to go retrieve said inmate? All right, I'm starting to see a problem with this, actually. Yeah, yeah. me too. The more you're talking, the more I'm <laughs> yeah. seeing my yeah. worst. Yeah. The more, yeah. the more yeah. I hear okay. about right. this, the more I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. Forget, the, forget the trash stuff, Bobby. Um, yeah, let's scratch you, the trash stuff. Can you present the, uh, the recruit, recruit shit that you got? Yeah, none of them have felonies. Uh, we have Gary Kevin. Okay. 
All right, let me Johnny. hold on. Let me pull up. Let me pull up my report because oh yeah, we wrote down your stuff last, last time. time. Yeah. One second. All right, approved guards. Okay, go ahead. Gary Kevin, you need a state ID. You already put that one last time. Could keep going. Scotty Bard. And Bobby, these are ones you would like to hire, correct? Yes. Oh, yeah. Scotty's the fuck guy. Please take him. Yeah, yeah. You can have him. <laughs> uh, he's been warned he cannot okay. pro uh, claim that he is licensed with medical because that, you know, transcends the prison. But if he does medical in there, I can't stop him. Fuck it. Anybody else? Uh, he was Winslow recording Jackson. my feet earlier. Oh, that was the one with the video, All right. wasn't it? Villager? Vil Adger. Well, we call him Pillager and Dog Tank. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's angry. Hmm. So he's All right, next. Nice. And we have uh, Chestanisberg. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Chestanisberg Andersonisbergensen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that person. I hate the Dutch. <laughs> oh, my God. Anybody else? We have a Richard uh, YQ. I think. Where did I spell last? It's or, yes, please take him. Ugh. Okay. I got. I got to rest my eyes for a couple of minutes, guys. Then we have a. Uh, we have a few hmm. more, but uh, if we can only have uh, six, or if we only have a set amount, uh, we do have a few. A few more names. You want to know those names? Uh, you want more names in general? Well, uh, these are just like if we have a baseline that we, uh, if we have a set number that we can only hire certain. Uh, like, yes. Uh, you who, do. Uh, who's a, who's approved? Who who are people you you would like to have considered that passed your like whatever? Um. Uh, oh, uh, Carmela, but she has a felony, which might be a problem. Yeah, that's uh, what's yes, uh, not happening. Yeah. What's uh, her felony? It's reckless evading. She has two times reckless of lighting. Okay, anybody else? Uh, Pigeon, he doesn't have any felonies. Uh, Cap Terranova. He's also a doctor, that motherfucker. <laughs> he hasn't worked once. Oh, he's a piece of shit. Well, that's not a good sign. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lily Dubois? I think that's her last name. She, she fucking, she creepy. Okay, anybody else? An, an old man named Rusty Bumblebear. And of all those names, I think uh, Carmela is the only one with a felony. Uh, Bobby, I'm obligated at this time to suggest, even though he does not qualify, Erwin Dundee for undisclosed reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what? Yeah, yeah Erwin Dundee. Yeah, <laughs> put that one in there. Uh. He's got like felonies seven times attempted murder of a government employee. No, yeah, no, that's he not. cannot me to say this. I want to. Okay. What about Leonardo oh. Slags? I want to go what? ahead. I want to recommend him. Leonardo uh, Leo Slags. You know what? Uh, put him on the list. Does he know he's going on the list, Bobby? So I'm a message no, him no, right no, now. No, 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 no. no. It, it's it's going to be a surprise. You know, I think that he oh, needs to change perfect. a career. You know, just in case uh, he gets fired or something, he can always. Uh, you can always have dogs. Okay, anything else? No, oh, that's it. All right, I've got uh, all those people recorded. I guess we'll go ahead and hire your first batch of uh, people that you approved, which would be Gary, Scotty, Winslow, Ville, Adger, Chestanisberg, you know, the Dutch guy, and then Richard, White Q, White Key, or whatever. Thank you so much, Supreme Ruler. 
Ah, Chief Justice, Bobby. You don't think Supreme Ruler sounds better? I mean, it's cool. It's just not accurate, but, you know, whatever. Um, okay. Uh, did you have anything else from DOC? I know the mayor's kind of resting his eyes, but. Um, I, I was, uh, one, we had a life rep there who goes by the name of Lou Myers. Is there any, uh, paperwork on that man about what who? he did? His name is Lou Myers. I recently got an MDT profile made for him. But he, he's been in there for like 20 some years, he told me. I just don't know if uh, I don't really know what he did. He told me that he killed a bunch of people, but I don't know if that's true. What's the name? Yeah, Lou, Lou Myers. Myers. I don't recognize Stay him. Stay out the one one seven. Yeah, no me either. I mean, Nakota, uh, does that name if, ring any uh, bells from back? No, in the day? I think it's a very long, long serving. Uh, that's lifer. from the lifer lifers. That's a life lifer. All right. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Yep. All right, yeah, all right. I'm gonna let Bobby out. Thanks, Bobby. Have a nice day, Supreme Justice Overlord, Ruler of the World, Shadow Leader. All right. Oh, oh my God. Co Baron of Dogtown. Um, question. Are we able to do anything about the situations with the food stalls? Uh, what do you mean situation? Are you talking about like there's like problems with them? Uh, no, no, not like not like the the issues with, uh, but more like um, how they are rented. Um, like right now, somebody can literally camp out in the admin office, wake up, rent one for two weeks, but then all of them are gone in one storm and anybody else in another storm has no chance of ever getting it. So I was wondering if maybe we could rethink that and do like maybe the old market stalls back in the day where they're rented for a storm instead. That way it gives people in, you know, other schedules a chance. And can we limit the amount of stalls that people can rent? Because people are renting. People are not one, renting two, multiple. Uh, As was, a rumor and not true. So Alexander River doesn't have two stalls? I have checked the records, and every time this has been brought to me, it has not been true. I will check again. Okay. No, no. I mean, if you've already checked, then yeah. Th this is just what was uh, what was relayed to me as... Uh, so I wanted to bring it forward, but I've heard um, people are selling ammo and shit out of those. Oh, That's Jesus. crazy. You can just get a sandwich with a side of a box of ammo. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know if something has changed, but when initially when they came out, there was a wave of panic about somebody rented all the stalls, and that was not the case then. And I heard another wave of it, and I checked in, and the answer still was no. So. Well, given it's uh, Alexander River, he likes to talk a lot of shit too. So he could yeah, just be telling so, people that and they're just taking his word for it. So, yeah. As far as I know, that is not the case. Okay. All right. But he also told everyone the crane and the government were going to give Group Six workers guns. Exactly. Uh, my and point. he had been yes. given one when he, in fact, just bought one using his PD weapons license. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then he so, lost his job for it. Hell no. So maybe no. I wouldn't trust him on that. Yeah. No. Yeah. I get that. But uh, I I think, uh, I don't know, it, finding a solution to allow people of differing schedules a chance would also maybe be something we could possibly look into. Because um, as it stands right now, it's just the same people over and over again taking all of them and nobody else has a, a shot at all. Uh, it's something, I mean, I don't know if that would come from us. I think that's probably that's what I was saying. something Is we could something recommend. That we can do. Okay. I mean, we could just make legislation. Uh, no. 
Yeah, I mean, that's something we need to talk about. But I'll uh, I'll run that up to chain you. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, yep. please. I think that's uh that is needed. Felony littering. Yep. Me. There's your felony the littering. abandonment of any <laughs> industrial equipment such as tractor trailers, etc. Okay. That works. Cool. Now would this be just a fine or are we giving them points on their license? It's a felony. You, you, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it should be a felony. I was kind of just grandstanding. <laughs> I would push for not a felony, personally. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it should be. Yeah, no. Uh, let's see. I mean, you, you just call it like what? Uh, industrial littering or. Good I don't know what you actually. Mean. Yeah, no, industrial good. littering. And then, you know, we just make it a relevant time and fine. I think I think our current uh, application is good. It just needs to be used more. Uh, I think a thousand dollars and four points is like very uh, ha should have a chilling deterrent effect. Mm -hmm. If those charges are used, I think that is plenty to deter people. Uh, should they be commercial littering, if anything, or is that sure. the same? Yeah, and commercial litter. that works. Yeah. yeah, that works. As for the fine, I don't know. I just did a thousand because I felt like that wasn't. Super I think I think wacky. that has a chilling effect. I think a thousand dollars and you know four points, two to four points. Well, it's not a moving violation, so the existing commercial charges are twelve fifty. Yeah, uh, well, that, that's that's what the enhancement. Oh, um, okay, okay, okay. I I see the original in the in the penal code in the back gotcha. end anyway when I'm editing the charges. So got it. Uh yeah, I think a thousand dollars makes sense as the base for the fine. I'm just trying to question the concept of of the points because it does demonstrate a lack of responsibility when it comes to operating a large commercial vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, but it is not necessarily a moving violation. So we'll go with two. Well, I don't know if it should be any. Oh. I th I think that's fair, honestly. It's like um, it's like it's separate not, to their driving, right? Yeah. It has nothing to do with your driving ability. Yeah, You're just a like dickhead, a, right? If you catch them driving at insane speeds back down after they've dropped it off, then fuck yeah. Uh, but you know, yeah. I mean, but some able, of these are, are, you know, they they cause ask? like very hazardous conditions. Yeah, but but, yeah, but, but that's again, not that's what not points are points yeah. are a reflection of. Uh, of how you've driven on the road in the past in a way that has broken the standard, right? So okay. either by, you know, driving too fast or in the wrong lanes, turn signals, you know, um, on um, ignoring, you know, police vehicles, all that kind of stuff, right? But you, you, there's a scenario in my head where I could find someone who drives perfectly fine but just is an asshole who dumps the trail wherever they want when they're done with it. Have these only been found on the side of the road? Have any of these made their way gotcha. into the road? Uh, I mean, now if you if you told me that someone detached the trailer while moving and just let it fucking uh, you know fall or whatever, then I could see that as a moving violation. I'd say that's covered under the unsafe you know enhancement, right? Right. Okay, and maybe gotcha. even reckless you know, driving or something at that point. But I think just if we just found a trailer on the side of the road and you saw someone ditch it. And then they pulled back on the road and they drove away in the speed limit and in the right lane. Uh, I don't think they should get points on their license. They okay. They dumped them because that means they can make it down to the city quicker. So obviously they're not, not keeping the speed limit. That is the primary reason for them to doing it mm -hmm. in the first place. Also, yes, Nakota, to answer your question, they have been notched into the road and have caused chaos, usually up north. Yes. Yeah, but that falls under one of those like but that's that's not on, on, yeah. on them. But they're leaving them in a in a place that can cause these issues with this, which is a primary problem. It's not just littering; it's also yeah. How, how much do they? Hazard. How much do they make for transporting that load? 
it depends on how long they go. Do they want to be legal or do they want to be not? Okay, no, 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 no. I'm asking uh, normal versus the without the thing. Oh, I don't fucking know. Like, what's the time, right? It's it's a min max thing. It's about no, I'm, well. That's what I'm problems. doing. I'm gonna yeah. break it down. So <laughs> if wait, let me call Marlo. Probably yeah, I know. I actually counted. God, when I went up, when I went home the other night, I think I passed like ten on the side of the road on oh, either God. side of the gas station. Hey, it was Marlo, fucking gross. Uh, just need some data from you uh, for a council here. Uh, how long does it take you to do the big run with the trailer? No, no, no. Let me rephrase this. How long does it take you to do the big run with the trailer? If you don't dump the trailer in Polito or on the side of the road and you bring it all the way back and you drive like, you know, it, let's say, and you drive as fast as you can. Sure, sure. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, but let me just ask you this. Let's say it's not much slower. Okay. Okay, and how much do you uh how and what's what's the total runtime on average? Yeah, yeah. Um just up front. Which Oh no, I mean like in minutes. How long is the run? Uh no, I'm coming yet. Okay. Oh, for the full run? Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. Uh and how much do you get paid for that run? Leaving a trailer on the side of the road is negligent. So yeah, I think I think that we probably have the charges to handle it. And from talking to Marlo, uh, I think that actually it's probably even more efficient for them to do it in the truck stop parking lot than on the side of the road because they're at the truck stop anyway. So probably save them time. They might have to back in somewhere. I don't know. But it doesn't sound like they save much time. I was thinking we could like set the fine to be proportional enough so that it's not worth the time you save, but you don't save enough time for it to be relevant. So it sounds like people are just doing it to do it. Uh, when you say the truck stop, do you mean the gas station in Polito? Yeah. Like the large one? Okay. And it has mean, it has large parking spaces there. Do we know how many of those trucks go? Like there are down there the are trailers that locals park there. Yeah. No, no, I know that, but I'm now I'm thinking like if this happens X amount of times a day, is that going to be overflowing with vehicles close to gas pumps? Well, that's why I said point? they could use the chicken factory parking lot. Okay. Yeah. That thing's yeah. gigantic, and mm -hmm. I've never once in you know nine years seen that thing filled ever. So. True. Yeah, because there's the the charging stations now in the parking lot of the Polito gas station, so. There's not and as I mean, maybe as maybe as just as encourage the the officers to look at this overall, right? And the other the other question is like uh, Marla just texted me. I never thought of this. Uh, is it something where that could be, become part of the tow ecosystem? I don't know. They can tow it. The issue is also there's no information on the trailers. You have to do an app. Uh, so you, you don't know. To, yeah. No. Yeah. You we have, tried to go up there and look, and we couldn't get a, a reading yeah. on them. You have to do an app, like make an app. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, then, yeah, I'm open to suggestions. It seems like kind of a hard problem to tackle. Um, mm -hmm. I think overall, we we solved most of this stuff with commercial vehicles by encouraging PD to use the law we already put in about yeah. unsafe operation because you know a thousand dollars and four points is game changing uh i mean that's a speaking, lot speak, speaking of which uh the other charge um yeah there's some issues with that i i need well, to talk how, to how would you people who that? well so here's the problem because I, I i sorry for i had matt rhodes yesterday fucking jesus christ man He's oh like, yeah he do, loves that that's his this? favorite thing I, yeah. well he, he wasn't sure how to do it well, no, but that's the problem is, is, I mean, he's usually good at find, using the niche things. Um, so here's the problem. Uh, I was under the impression when the uh, law was put in that there was like a threshold whereby 
it was safe to carry that coincided with the space of the truck. Uh, but apparently, uh, you can only see the contract weight for the current contract. And so if they've already picked up the stuff for like two other contracts and they accept a third, the contract limit that's displayed on the manifest paperwork is for the third only. So by that logic, the you're only allowed to do one pickup at a time doing any kind of commercial delivery work, which is nonsense going dumb because well, no one's going to drive to a place, pick up one thing with a gigantic truck and then go to another place and depot it without the efficiency of picking up multiple things at once. What I'm, so what I was I, trying I, to control was it my, being my, overweight, which I don't know is even really possible. Hold on. It, it is possible. One, two, um, my wife and I did a ride along yeah. for Grime, and mm -hmm. we we discovered essentially that it is possible for these big semi drivers to um, do a bunch of different contracts and not technically be in breach of any one of the cargo manifests that they're issued, yeah. so long as they're so long as they are careful about what sort of cargo they're picking up. For example, they don't take two electronics contracts, therefore they won't ever be in the uh, in breach of the one hundred one thousand kg. Uh, weight limit uh and the way that i advise cops to be able to enforce it when i when i talked about it was hey you know if you spot check these these cargo holds and there's 1000 if there's more than 1000 kilograms of one type of cargo then they are in breach of this particular law that's what we discovered mm -hmm. yeah i i so i understand well and and this is what i'm trying to point out is uh i envisioned that there was a overall weight limit in the truck and there was a certain proportionality of that weight limit that was safe. And so, you know, I don't know. I didn't know if that was a couple contracts you were allowed to carry or two or three or four, whatever. Well, you, but, you, you are well within your right as chief justice to be like, Hey, okay. Fuck this weird cargo manifest shit. And, you know, if, if this truck has more than 80% of uh, its maximum weight, then it's too unsafe to drive on the road. Boom done yeah i think that's probably easier to enforce but i don't know what like i i would really like to know and maybe you guys can ask marlo or maybe i'll ask him during the week to get me some info maybe if they could just record all the contracts they pick up and tell me how much weight is in each contract and that way because because my big concern is I, I want there to be choice right so yeah if you pick up four contracts and they weigh a thousand each and your trailer holds seven, you know, K well, clearly like, you know, you know, if it was, you know, 20, 30%, you know, you, you clearly would only pick up four or five instead of the seven. Right. And anything above that you go over. What I don't want is the weight limit to be like in the middle of a contract weight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause then it gets weird about, well, you know, it was under and, uh, yeah. Um, I recommend calling Marlo and asking. Okay, more about I'll get it. some data from Marlo and I'll bring a proposal next week that resolves the issue. Because I, I think I agree with you that the the that law has never been really functional. Yeah, uh, it technically is functional. It's just right. It's just it nonsensically functional. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's like math functional, not logic. Uh, in the interim, I mean, the person who this probably matters to the most, uh, Matt Rhodes, I did instruct him on the uh, proper way to actually articulate this in the in, yeah. in the meanwhile. Yeah, I'll, t I'll talk to Rhodes. I'll talk to Marlo. I'll get a, you know, recommendation from the user base, so to speak, and I'll bring a proposal. Word. Uh, anything else, Mike? Mm, that, no, that's it. Okay, so we decided that uh, illegal dumping equals... Uh, unsafe operation of a wide load or a yeah. commercial vehicle um uh my darling wife the chief of staff uh yeah updated the death penalty legislation part 17 whatever it is that we've been working on it for um based on like some feedback michael and i were talking about this and uh you know our we had concerns about it being in Bolingbroke prior with like doctors but 
it came to my attention recently that Tanner is already operating as like a DOC doctor for them. So there are already doctors that are entering. Oh, he's not uh, a he's not a doctor. Right, he's a psych, actually technically, right? That. Yeah, no. He's a, just yeah. a psych or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he couldn't do that. Um there was somebody else, I cannot remember, a Mori who had, I want to uh, say, she, I might she's be wrong. Intern. Uh, doctors are I not do all not, thoracic okay, yeah, I'm, just, no. I'm just going to say this right now. Uh, as far as I know, and Kenner can back me up on this if I'm correct, yep. uh, it is a hard and fast rule and will be so the doctors cannot operate outside the prison. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Inside the prison? Sorry, you mean? No, no, cannot operate out. <laughs> that's outside actually a funny, hospital. that's a funny Freudian slip. It cannot was... <laughs> be operated outside the hospital. Yes. There we go. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, straight from the top yeah. on that one. <laughs> like... Yeah. They cannot operate outside of their prison. How about that? There yeah, go. pretty much, right. yeah. So there's no way for them to call time of death anywhere else outside of the no, hospital? No, they would then. have to be transported um, after the fact. Which we, okay. we need to do, you know, we need to prepare their body and things and everything. So they should be transported anyway, ideally. But you know, That's what yeah. I was wondering. Okay, so that is that. that's not an issue then? If they just need to be transported after the fact, either way. No, that's totally fine. Yeah, if they have to be transported, that's okay. So, what if we allowed the things to occur within the prison, and anybody you know who steps foot in there does so with the full understanding of what that means per our other legislation regarding the prison? On a fundamental level, I I still have the same objections I've I've had. If prison is supposed to be this lawless black hole of bobby and carmine's domain i i don't know how we do any official legal function in there oh this is gonna sound crazy let bobby and carmine do it i mean they, they could do it already is what i'm saying we don't need to legislate it like they, they could kill uh, people in there didn't we, we i feel like we had this exact conversation last uh, time yeah 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 it feels like we've yeah I'm saying if our version of the death penalty is they're never getting out of Bolingbrook, I, I, I think that's fine. I, I think if we're going to legislate how people will die, though, that that has to occur outside the prison. Why don't we just sell pay-per-view tickets somewhere else? That was the initial pitch. Was uh, me and Siobhan pitch do it at the Vine Bowl, Bowl, but people yeah. didn't like that. Yeah, yeah. But people hated that. People well, no, and then no, I no, said... No, the, we, it was he's talking about tickets reason. for, like, a broadcast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, the reason it was hated at uh, also you're whispering at a the reason it was hated at a uh, Vinewood Bowl is because oh, we uh, we're talking specifically about uh, letting people do two like a, like a mutual combat to the death. That like that is where we. Got oh no, my bowl. my my commentary about the Vinewood Bowl was not the combat to the death. It was about the fact that holding uh, a public event like that outside yeah. is impossible. Yeah, because it will inevitably it. be grenaded, you know, yeah, AK mm -hmm. sprayed terrorist, you know, oil tanker exploded, you know, name your pick. Yeah, uh, we just need a better spot for something like this, I think. Um, maybe like a rooftop, so I don't know, I don't know, because uh, it was a, a public execution, it. right? That's what y'all are discussing, yeah. So we yes. don't need to, we don't need to get hung up so much on the location right yeah. now uh just the fact that the uh death penalty could be used as a capital punishment is that something that we are all in super agreement with and that with with the uh with the knowledge that we will find a suitable location for something like this in the future so that the public can come and it will also hopefully be protected from outside ak spray slash grenade throwing <laughs> yeah uh, I can think of a couple of locations. It just might be a logistics nightmare. But, I mean, for example, that, that casino was finished construction uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, magnificent building. Uh, I, I know that more construction is coming. So, uh, the, who knows? Maybe there will eventually be a place where uh, it will be uh, feasible. Okay. Hell yeah. I'm all for it. I think uh, I think if people are being put to death, uh, they deserve a level of, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we already have. Fuck it. Is, is is death penalty already established? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's already That's a potential a... punishment. Yeah. Yeah, we have. Yeah. It. Where, well, where the method is it, where... hasn't been. It's not codified yet. That's what I meant. Yeah. It's yeah. just always been done. Because yeah. we, because in, well, no. What I mean is, is that we have charges that are hot charges, and we have, you know, 
capital punishment options because the sentencing is indeterminate. It is up to, you know, the judge, right? So technically we have it. It's just, it has not been exercised and thus the actual parameters have not been developed. Okay. So uh, that would be a good thing to codify would be the methods by which people are executed. Uh, and is... or which crimes qualify but i think that's already laid out with the I think that, yeah i think the capital level crimes is already yeah. codified we've already got all that yeah language in there too about educated by a judge etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah so, so it's just the... how it's it's how it's uh exactly carried out and so where this little document actually says yeah. that i don't know if you guys are actually i, I see philip in here oh yes um this document lays that out and uh what my wife and uh michael and i <sighs> talked about last night I, is reason, I thought there might have been kyle bread you are so fucking loud shut up God, i still just as loud as Quit always yelling, you motherfucker <laughs> is it bad that i'm actually used to that sound <laughs> uh-huh. i mean I, I don't mind i just don't want people to get distracted so no, that's that, no, yeah the, the purpose of this would be to establish these three methods of death penalty and Mm -hmm. to also and this is important um give the discretionary choice of death row inmate uh give them the choice uh that they will be executed by the state i thought they already got that was that the one we had in the past well i mean once again it's not codified yeah no no i'm sorry what i'm i'm asking siobhan to refresh my memory yeah they had the choice okay yeah yeah, yeah. that's what we already had yeah yeah i have no problem with it yeah we just added an option of yeah we just added the burden at the stake uh, okay. well, I, which hey if someone picks it i mean you know it's their right that's how, we both talked, that's how we'd want to go exactly that should be an option that's how shutters and pagan <laughs> so that that's what i was talking about with my wife last night i was like listen man this is potential like the implication of that's potentially really bad but discretionary it, choice of the death yeah. row inmate yeah yeah if yeah. they choose that that's how they want to die. where is the state any problem with it um uh, not TBD. in someone's front yard not that okay oh my god no we're thinking like witches and all that you know the the normal yeah right but still i mean i'm i'm just pointing out taylor swift even if the pyre is simply a puddle of gasoline the person Mm -hmm. stands and we ignite it you know i still need to yeah we need to figure that out uh, shackle their ankles and yeah yeah that's kind of fucked but yeah there you go. Uh, is there anything that we're not willing to entertain as far as death penalty that they would potentially pick just to get out in front of that? Or is that well, that's why we were codifying these that? three specific options. I like the, uh, what's that one? I, I forget whether it was Vikings or Native Americans did it. Uh, they basically the put you in a, like a canoe. Yeah. Uh, what like tied to the to the baseboards? So you're you're face down. You're you're on your back. You're back down. Vikings. You're looking straight up, and then they put like honey and shit all over you. Oh, it was Romans. It was Roman. What? You put honey oh. and shit all over you. Yeah, and then uh, the birds come and just eat you alive. Yeah, that sounds yeah. Roman as fuck. Holy Ooh. fuck! I thought, I thought you were going to say something completely with the, different. With the fire arrow. That's no, the no, no, birds you, or bugs. You, you get, yeah, no, you get tied on your back, and then. They put shit on you that attracts pests yeah, and animals. Yeah, that definitely and, uh, sounds very mm-hmm. Roman. That one's and then you just get eaten by the birds oh, and you the guys like the one where uh, they put a rat in a bucket on your uh, oh, yeah. stomach and then they yeah. light a fire on the and other side so way, it burrows into it your eats stomach. Its way out. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Goofy. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep. Love that movie. Oh my god. Could also just chain them to a rock and let murder kitties get them. That's that's too fast. That's too simple. Mm. Not to right, right. All in favor, or rather, all in not favor. Sorry, I'm eating some non guys. I had some pocket. Let me just read the actual oh, language, nice. but yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, that's their choice. Let them have it. Yeah, whatever. Sounds good to me. Okay. Um, squeaky chair. Uh, Chief of Staff, do you have anything else to present? Um, that was all that I had. I know you, you, you got stuff. Right? Uh, sidebar.
I come before you today, not as a man, not as a mayor, but a concerned citizen. Recently, some of you may have realized that a particular plague has taken to our streets. Are any of you familiar with the clown war? Oh god, yes. They yep. keep fucking battling it out at the hospital. Yeah. It's clear that these two factions have begun allowing their their previous conflict to spill over into the streets, into sacred places like the uh, Crusade Medical Hospital, disrupting medical care for others. I've seen these motherfuckers towing helicopters. Uh, and in fact... Someone left a dead mime with his entrails cut out at the top of City Hall, or at the top of the shit. stairs in City Hall. Very great. That's metal. He was. That ace. Jesus. I think it's important that we as council members remember we possess the power to legislate. And in the past, there have been instances of the thing that I'm about to propose in order to curtail certain behaviors on the street. Some of you may recall that Alan Crane mentioned in fact, that he had a particular arc in which he uh, was a vampire hunter. Alan Crane, vampire slayer. Hmm. Um, I was in prison for that, so I don't really recall that. Actually, maybe I wasn't. However, it's clear to see that the majority of people, uh, I'm proposing that the Council of Eight support the majority in this conflict. It's not a brave suggestion. Indeed, some might call it a safe suggestion. However, what I propose today is not too radical. Nay, in fact, I think it's the next logical step to ensure that the streets can finally know peace. I wish to legislate that every single mime that enters into Los Santos not be treated as human. And not have rights. That is not where I thought that Damn. was going. Wow. Okay. Uh, I thought well. you were proposing clown hunting season. No. Oh my god. No. Quite, no. Quite I the contrary. Not. Because there's. Wait. What if we do alternate seasons? What if there's six months oh. of the year <laughs> where you can buy a license to hunt clowns and you can bag one clown like per week, maybe? What? No. And then the other six months of the year, you get a license to hunt mimes and you can do the same. You pay like a premium. How about this? We, we see where the clown population is at after this first phase. However, I know I know for a fact there's like literally just like three mimes causing all of this shit. I got, had like, a mime almost stab me at Mosley's, so they are a bit insane. Yeah, I had yeah, a mime almost stab me at Senior Buns. They're crazy. They are. One could argue that the sentience of a mime is in question because what makes us sentient? Our ability to communicate. And if they're communicating like animals, should they be treated as humans? Well, there's... Wait, hold on. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna go. I'm, okay. Let's roll with it. Let's okay. roll with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to say... Terry Shibo, eat your fucking heart yeah. out. Oh, are we boy. saying that people who are deaf and communicate with sign language are not human? Oh, boy. No, just moms. <laughs> just moms. Just, just, just moms. Yeah, in this case, just moms. A lot of deaf people moms. actually go through a lot Sorry. of speech therapy but to be able to articulate uh, 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 and speak, even though it's difficult for them. I had a dream Wait, once that a parent who was a speech pathologist, and I felt like I had to say it. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, just mimes, guys. Just mimes, okay. Just yeah, mimes, just mimes. Just mimes. I mean, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm in full agreement. Mimes are a menace. All Wait, in favor of removing. Wait, wait sorry. Go ahead. I, I, let me, I just have a couple questions here. Did we say that the only person who showed up dead is a mime, though? Yeah, but you know. Who knows what that mime did to antagonize them? I'm just gonna say I was with uh, Captain Sucks when a mime viciously attacked officers as well. You know, they are a real menace. Important note, there's a difference between playing charades and using an entirely different sign language to communicate. Mimes do not use sign language. They simply do shit like this. Fucking... Motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. What does that uh, one mean? Uh, it means they're happy. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Uh, fuck mimes. 
Uh, I personally would be cool with them not having rights, uh, so I bring this to you, Council of Eight. Let's bring peace back to these streets, yo. Thank you. You know, uh, it's not a new concept, honestly. It's not. We did peace have Peace by that genocide has been tried many okay. times, many places. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, not that part. Yeah. Well, no, we I mean, legit, there is a legitimate argument. I mean, hey, uh, you know, because it's the age-old question, right? It's like, let's say you've had a country where there's two factions that have been warring oh back and god. forth. Oh and, my god. You know, uh, one faction, you know, has control at this time, but then another so faction had another time, right? And it flips every, like, couple years. Well, if you just pick a time to go in as a peacekeeping force and enforce the law of one faction then you're you're just kind of choosing an arbitrary you know point in the sand of which to justify their authority right i mean it's kind of the same thing here right uh, yes, yeah. so yeah state sponsor genocide i'm down i abstain i've never uh, done that before i've tried okay. to okay. Like the damn legislation too. before so you know i'm scared okay any any nays or abstainers I, I would like uh, the, the clowns to be lumped in with. I would like both of them to have no rights. Personally. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! <laughs> no! 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 Oh, no. oh Jesus oh, Christ! Um, as mayor, I am. I am. Uh, I am bringing this to the table in order to represent. Uh, they actually represent a large, uh, portion of Los Yes, Santos. they do. Mm -hmm. Um, they do. Yeah. So I think what we fun. what we can do, you know, if we help them get rid of their mortal enemy, right? We see where they go. If they if they end up being a larger menace than they were before, I am one hundred percent down to uh you know maybe even the playing field. In the Why future. don't we make it a twofer? Mimes are hereby you know second class citizens, whatever. Right? We agree with that. Okay. But uh, clowns who are in debt oh. and get arrested must convert all their fine into extra time. Oh my god. Uh, let's, fo let's, fo let's, fo let's focus on the mimes. Let's focus on the mimes. Come on. Who? Okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna abstain as well. <clears throat> um, this act sole purpose is to remove rights from mimes and to make them second class citizens, as written. Who is in favor? Raise your hand. I, I have one more question. Hmm. What is the definition of a mime? Uh, someone who wears okay, uh, uh, because oh, I can see a lot of people, uh, walking up to someone and shooting them and saying, Oh, uh, you know, they wave their hands in front of my yeah, face. Yeah, that it was my concern with the like, uh, the Dan kill on site stuff and things. It's like, what you know, you're opening up the field to they could just say, I thought it was a Dan. I thought okay, it so, was a mime. So he, here's what I wrote. A mime is someone who gesticulates and does not communicate verbally. Furthermore, they are dressed like a traditional mime. So are we talking uh, traditional as in the black and white striped shirt? Yeah, or just some variation of that. Like a, sometimes they have like a red hat, you know, like it's it's pretty obviously a mime when you look at them. Like, or the gray gotcha. man. Oh yeah, yeah he applied oh, to be yeah. a doctor, uh, but we had to tell him that you kind of need to be able to communicate oh, that's something wonders, what you were right? treating them. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, guy. that guy's a felon also. Oh, yeah, that tracks. Oh, yeah. Well, only violent felons can be doctors. He was a violent Yeah, felon. I feel, I feel oh, like yeah. as a doctor, like I probably should Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, wow. Huh. Yeah, that guy's a fucking menace. So I, I feel like one. the judiciary exactly. will be able to do sniff test it. You'll know it when you see it. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, Roman. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll defer to the rest of you. Uh, as a doctor, I just don't feel like I should be voting on this. Okay, I still well, you're, would. You're, you're, I'm just. You're, uh, oh, you're you're, yeah. you're a treasurer, not a doctor, in this room. Well, oh, first year yes, year but. Oh yeah, that could that could make a paralegal career. Okay. Where where is where is the benefit to the economy? I don't know. Um, I think. Hmm. You saw my hunting license. We stayed about, on the wall. I'll, 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 I'll tell you exactly how this benefits. Mime hunting yeah. season. Mime hunting season. Um, we could get passes. Um, also, sorry, let me finish swallowing. I'm eating more naan. Um, basically, every time every time someone is incarcerated, 
in Bolingbrook. Mm-hmm. It costs the state money. Do you guys know that? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if they're dead, they don't cost the state money because they won't be in prison for doing oh. all the crazy shit they've been doing. Oh. It's a penny saved as a penny earned. Poor. Uh, hey Max, do you know what self sabotage means? Uh no. Are you going yeah, to explain that, it to that, me in like a like a smarmy like I'm an old eighty year old guy way right now? Is that what, is that what's going on? No, I thought I thought the joke was self evident. Never mind. Well, yeah, because because you, you, you you said it out loud and then said, "Hey Max, do you know what this is?" Because I just said something and it was like it was like ha owned got him. Yeah, what did I say? Uh, hey Max, do you know what the definition of self sabotage is? That was a really yeah. good impression, Ben. That was actually uh, really good. Yeah. Now you're asking <laughs> me to explain <laughs> the joke. <sighs> Any nays? Uh, I'm a half a B and nay. Why? Oh, Tell us why, Nakoda. Uh, because I'm picturing a scenario. Mm-hmm where someone is abducted at gunpoint and then they're mm-hmm. taken to a clothing store mm-hmm. and they're oh given God. very explicit instructions on what outfit to put on oh. and what face paint oh, to no. put on. And then they're taken to another location in which they are executed. <laughs> and then I'm that. told this was a mime. Yo, what, bro, what if, okay, for a moment, someone kidnapped me and they were like, hey, um, I'm going to take you to the gun store and I'm going to put this gun on you after I shoot a guy and then I'm going to shoot you and then I'm going to leave you in an alleyway somewhere. And then what if the guy also had like a nuclear uh, detonation key activation and he like put it in my hand and then like made me push the red button that, that launched the nuke that killed everyone in the fucking world and started like the worldwide nuclear war? What if, what if someone kidnapped me and then made me. Um, oh, what are we I talking about? What's, what's going Max, on? That's just human trafficking. No, I mean, what you suggested is human this, trafficking. This this what if kidnapping argument is so fucking lame. Dude. Wait, what I'm are we sorry. talking about? Why do we? Why do we? But it happens. The it does I, not happen. I, it does not happen, motherfucker. Wait, hold on. No, what are we what talking about? Suggest, it's something no, like that. The, not the, the situation that you articulated in Mo is human trafficking. Right? I'm not, I would, it would only be the PD to do an investigation, wouldn't it? I keep being told we can't trust the PD to do things like that, so no. I mean, we but can't I, have I both do ways. agree we with you in theory. We so it's I'm saying we can't have it both ways. We can't have yeah. faith in our public servants and then not have yeah. faith in them. Yeah, I, got uh, I would say if someone is uh, going to dedicate their life to being a mime, that should be very noted in their public profile. Very noted. Sure. Make them register. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. I can't, I'm uh, abstaining. I'm abstaining. Uh, I'm abstaining. And the I'm shark abstaining. has been jumped, I'm ladies and gentlemen. I'm abstaining. Um, you guys, you guys have, have your vote. I will not yes. say no to it. Yeah. We actually exactly. came full circle. I, I made I a joke about Max way, doing this I, like I, at the I, first I meeting. Vote. Yeah. What meeting? The first one where... We were talking about old people, and I said, yeah, you know, we should register all of them that are over 75 and make them wear like a, you know. Let's let's be clear. I think mimes are subhuman. I think they should have to register, and I think they should be allowed to be shot on the street for being mimes. There's no, there's no, oh, ooh, ooh, this is, this is weird. But that's literally what I'm saying. Any nayers? I'm still going to be a nay. Malton shame uh canter uh i have stain alan crane uh if we're if we're good at defining what a mime is and someone who is a mime knows their mime and there's no way to you know Muddy the water, then yeah, I don't care. I don't, I don't yeah, like mimes. Make, let's make a registry. Oh, uh, Edda. Epstein. Dear, dear God. Michael. Oh, go for it. Um, Siobhan. You already know. Say it for the record. Yay. 
Yeah. All right, tied up. Is. So the mayor's vote carries. Yeah. And now mimes aren't people. Hooray! Good uh, job. I'll, I'll make yeah. the uh, the mime registry now. We can have a uh, judges handle it, or even me. Actually, I can't make notes on people's profiles. So. Cool. I'll do that after this meeting. Um, I don't have anything else to present, so I think we're done. Question mark? I just have a general question. So I, I see in here like this sheriff selection thing. Is this just part of the police continuity plan or is this uh is this like yeah. a fed thing? Okay. Um nice. yeah, a little bit a little bit of both, we'll say. All right, fair enough. Uh we're just gathering our thoughts on that. Um mm -hmm. the Many cops have spoken to me, and they want this, this is how they mm -hmm. envision an election for sheriff. Okay, and I don't necessarily mm -hmm. disagree with them. Okay, uh, run concurrent with actual like elections for like the city council and stuff and mayor. Uh, it has to be a former cop. Uh, it, the writing here says former sheriff. Uh, that's not happening. Mm -hmm. I'll say that right now. Yeah, I think okay. it should be a current cop. That's um, my only hang up on it. Current cop, not former. And that that's just just because this was like an early draft of that particular legislation. Um, or not like the just for record keeping sake, that's yeah. what we're gonna do. Um, it basically it would happen at the same time as all other elections, and then you know it would have to be a current cop, and then you know, any public person could vote for that. Uh, because that's typically how sheriffs are elected everywhere else. Uh, and yeah. I, I think it's a cool, I think it's a cool idea personally. Um, I like it there, honestly. Yeah. There are there are a couple of things that need to be done before we start this process, though. Mainly, uh, there's no functional police department in the county for them right, right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Well. Signups start for this uh, in three days. So do you, maybe it should not run at the same cycle as the city council. Um, we could have them start and like start getting like their organization set up um, and all that stuff. So, and there's another problem too. Okay. Oh my fucking God. You guys good? Hey, tell him to shut the fuck up. Thanks. It's uh, not not to interrupt your train of thought, Max, but in, in theory, if, if you're not wanting to push this out the door right away, it could line up with the civilian oversight board elections, whenever those are, since those are already off kilter. Um, I think... No, those happened fairly recently, and this will be... It, it, this will be a need to be on its own cycle. Let's just put it that way, because okay. it's, it's probably not ready for the next three days. Uh, because if we, and maybe Max and I can talk about this later, but basically I'm just thinking through, I mm -hmm. don't want to put pressure on the construction crews being like, Hey, we elected a sheriff. And then the sheriff's going to like go to Max and be like, where's my building. Right. Uh, I think we should probably be more, uh, responsible and say, okay, we will, uh, get word, you know, to the construction folks that we intend to hire a sheriff get a reasonable expected date of when the building could be ready and then center the elections around that time frame. I think that's um, probably more responsible. Yeah, so, and alternatively, what we could do is we could say, hey, uh, you're going to be sheriff, of the county sheriff's office, whatever it's going to be called, um, whoever gets elected, and we're going to be like, hey, you can do this, and this can happen, but you need to understand that you might be operating out of MRPD for the next foreseeable future. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And also, there there is a mm -hmm. uh, slight chain of command issue that needs to be cleared up. You know, like who does the shit uh, answer? It, exactly, that's another issue. So we we got to work out all of this shit before we uh, begin doing sheriff stuff. Which I, it's possible we get it done in three days, but uh, highly we'll doubtful. Yeah, uh, I will be working on that because uh, I, I want to talk to Barrick and I want to talk to Ruby and I want to talk uh, to the state, and then we got to figure out you know like who who is going to be doing what. Like you know like are are the sheriff's underlings going to answer to LSPD high command? You know, like, like there are a lot of questions that need to be answered first. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. Okay. So, yeah, some hybrid of what we just discussed is probably fair. Uh, we could, you know, how about we do this? How about we take what you're saying where you do all the groundwork, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And we officially tell the PD that a sheriff is coming. And thus, we are trying to figure out all the parameters for the job first. Uh, and then use that as a way to buy time for the construction. Uh, sounds good. I, I like okay. that plan. So I will, uh, uh, with you, uh, try to get a timeline together, and then uh, you, you know, you and uh, your team can 
exercise your state authority to communicate with the PD and get information. Sounds freaking good. Sounds cool. freaking good. All right. Uh, Crane, we got a, uh, my wife and I want to talk to you. Okay. Uh, after this meeting, I, I don't think we have anything else to present at all. So, I mean, good all meeting, right. everyone. All right. Fuck mimes. All right. Yo. All right. Fuck moms. Uh, I will, I will write up the, uh, the registry. Um, uh, we'll have clerks and uh, judges be able to register a mime as a mime. Yes. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Also, Nicole, if you see any mimes on the street, bring them to a judge and make them register. 